Fairgoers are drawn to big attractions and are particularly curious about big pumpkins. And I want to know how they got it here from their garden. This year with the bigger pumpkin, um, I built it, I literally had to build a tripod with a hoist and a lifting ring. They use three pallets to get the pumpkin up above the wheel wells. But what do they do with these pumpkins when they're done? Uh, it'll sit here and get showed. If it's still good, when I come back up and get it Monday morning, as long as it stays healthy, it'll get showed all over the place, so you'll see a lot of miles. Can you be able to make it into a pumpkin pie? It's more of a squash type pumpkin, so it's more to the squash side, and it has a lot of water content to the squash. You can still make a nice uh, pumpkin pie out of it with the right seasonings and everything. Those are the easy questions to answer. Much more difficult this year, how to grow big in a drought with 100 degree temperatures. With the weather, everything combined, I'm just glad to get it to the scale. We got it, we got it here in one piece. You know, the biggest gain I think we had on that, maybe 22 pounds a day, you know, instead of the 30 to 35 pounds. Um, in the middle of July, I had these cracks open up and basically you pack them with sulfur powder and a lot of times that in and of itself will heal it up. The pop bottle thing is here, when you cut it free from the vine, it's still wanting to drink. So I don't want to lose the weight, so that's why we keep the water on the trip. Nine pumpkins were entered this year. Can any beat last year's winning weight of 1,295 pounds? Let the weigh-in begin. Ladies and gentlemen, the first official weight is 565 pounds. Mike Otto, Newtown, Missouri. There he is. Get your picture. Before we divulge the winner of the Big Pumpkin Contest, there was one other category in the competition, the Best Looking Pumpkin. That award went to Joe Cristoforo of Mount Pleasant. The heaviest pumpkin was 933 pounds from David Miller of Riverside. I want to get on my cell phone and call everybody, so uh, it's really, really exciting. It's something I'll remember the rest of my life. Eventually, I'll uh, take the seeds out, dry them out, and I'll give some away. I'll probably plant a couple of them for next year because this seed was pretty hardy to grow with the conditions it did.